All right, what is going on YouTube? Foxy, you're welcome to you guys with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the brand new Irma EMP in Call of Duty World War II. You guys have been really digging the World War II video, so we're going to stick with it. And we're going to, you know, just look at all the weapons without the next couple of days. And then we'll have some Black Ops 4 stuff come out. Hope you guys do enjoy. I want to apologize for being really, really negative the past two videos. I know it gets old when I just continue to just criticize the game and I just say how bummed out I am and things like that. So we're going to try and be a little bit more uplifting and positive in this video. Huge shout out to my man Daynerd for letting me use his account and to show this weapon to you guys and show it off. If you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, use discount code FOXY at gfuel.com for 10% off your order. And without further ado, let's go, bros. Listen, if I could stop getting sandbox, that would be great. That would be awesome. I swear, every time I play this game, I end up getting sandbox. All right, so this is the Deathwing uh, I guess variant. Yeah, we're gonna call these variants. This is the Deathwing variant for this gun and Here's my initial reaction to this gun because I recorded this the other day But it was really negative and I just I don't know I wanted to make sure I was a little bit more positive for you guys But this was my initial reaction to this weapon and it, I like the name of it. Oh wait, what the fuck dude? No way. Hold on. Let me listen to this Dude So, <laughs> so this gun the EMP-44 and the Buskavitska all have the same gun sound with, like, very minor changes to them. I just tried to stem shot. What? Why? Oh, no, dude. So, my initial reaction was, oh, wow, this gun sounds just like the Buskavitska and the... And it sounds very similar to the uh, EMP44. And like, I don't know, Here, here's a, here's a side-by-side -side comparison. You guys, you guys tell me. Quite frankly, you need to go back to the drawing board because your game absolutely sucks! It has a slower fire rate than the EMP44 and the Butskavitska, but it just has the same gun sound. And I know Sledgehammer Games is notorious for adding the same gun sounds to guns, so, you know, that's... That, that was a really big thing in Advanced Warfare, but I don't know, man. I just, it just, it's weird. It's weird to me. Oh, shit. Oh, I forget about the magnifying glass, dude. When I first saw this gun, I thought it looked a lot like the Orso because it's got kind of the same iron sights and things like that. It's not anything like the Orso. The Orso is a very fast firing gun and this one is not. Dude, I keep getting hit with stuns. Stop throwing stuns at me! No. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really like all the content that we got in this update with both games. Honestly, I think all the content that we got is really, really dope. It's just the way it's just the way that we got all the content. Like what that it's locked behind all the paywalls and things like that, but it's all good. We're still using fire shotguns in World War II, apparently. Arrgh. Oh god. I have I have a very bad feeling about this. No, get away from me. I feel like they're still shooting noob tubes. No, get away, get away. Oh my gosh, why? Dude. Holy crap. I definitely thought that dude. Holy crap. No, dude. Oh, God. oh my God. We're, on a, we're in the ground now. Oh, and he's using requisitions. Oh my God, no. No. Why? Go away with your requisitions looking ass, bro. So I really like this gun. I really like the fire rate. It's, it's, it kind of looks like the Orso and the Type 100 had a baby. And then it ended up having some type of like EMP 44 sound to it. That's basically what it is. No. Okay, yeah. They're, they're all camping in the buildings. What, what are they doing? So what it seems like, this this gun seems to be like a three-shot kill up close. At least that's what I'm noticing a little bit. I'm still getting killed by fucking... Who uses noob tubes in Call of Duty World War II? Someone said this to me the other day. Someone asked me to use them. And I mean, I made a video on one like a long time ago. It was almost a year ago where I made a video about them. But I didn't know that they were popular like this. <laughs> God! Come on. Oh, 
This is redonkulous here, bros. And it's gone. I'm glad a lot of you guys have enjoyed watching the World War II videos, though. It, it makes me happy that, you know, the, that you guys still enjoy those. For sure. Um, we're gonna throw that right there. Oh my god, thank god. Arden Docks or London Force. Okay, so the fire rate on this gun, not the gun sound, but the fire rate. What would you guys compare this gun to? You know, okay. Is that the silenced one? It is. <laughs> Holy shit! So a lot of people told me in my comments the other day that Sledgehammer Games is gonna give people contracts for the new DLC weapons that just launched on July 2nd, and, um, I know. I said it in my last video, and it was that I, I don't know where I said it at, but I tried to put it somewhere that everyone was gonna kind of be able to see it, if even if you left the video early. Stop using the fucking shotguns. Oh my god! <laughs> But yeah, so that that's really good. That's a good thing. Some people were saying like, oh, Black Ops, Black Ops 4 is not going to have contracts, but they are. So, But I have, I have a feeling that the Black Ops 4 contracts are going to be very similar to the Black Ops 3 contracts, which means it's not going to be as good as World War 2's contracts. Because with World War 2's contracts, I can use armory credits to get a weapon, and that's really good. I like that. That's That was something that I really like. I thought that the contracts in general were kind of too much, in my opinion, for the supply drops. They were like, sometimes they were like four or 500 for a supply drop, and I always thought that was really weird. Or if it was like 250 or 300, you know, I always thought that was a little bit too much. Dude, I suck ass. There's a guy over there. Nope. All right, we got all the basic trainings unlocked. We're using specialists right now, hopefully. Oh, yikes. Dude, the, everyone with these nades, bro. What's up with everyone in nades right now? Oh, they're all in the back right now. Okay. Oh, God. Are they going to spawn behind us? Yeah, they are. Oh, God, I suck. I suck. I suck. Killing friends. There we go. We're on a 10. Double kill. Kill. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm running away. I'm running away. I'm running away. Save me! Nice. Oh god. Double kill. Okay. I just saw that. I don't know how I just survived that. What's it called? That was right there. But that was that was kind of weird. Running riot. There we go. We're on a 15. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know. Okay. Nice. I wish this wasn't 75. I wish this was 100, honestly. Just going over there. Shit. Okay, so it's all the way over there. You know what? You know what's something I miss? I really miss the fact that I can see kill streaks or score streaks or whatever on my radar. Like, just in general. I You shouldn't need a perk or something like that to do that. In the old COD games, we used to be able to do that all the time. It was like no big deal. Nice. I don't know what we ended on. I think we ended on like a 16 or 17. That's not bad. Team Deathmatch. All righty, we're on point two heck. All right, here we go. Got a nice Halloween camo. Nope, nothing there. Oh, hello, with your shotgun looking ass. God damn it. Arr! I like the sound of this gun. I just wish it wasn't reused from an other, uh, from other guns. There's two guns that sound very similar to this. I just wish it didn't sound like those guns. I love the sound of it though, like because it's got like that chain type of sound. Dude, everyone's using a shotgun on this map. Oh my lord. I can't right now. I literally can't. Toss that over there. Hopefully I get somebody. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm going to hold off this way. I don't want to run into the trenches or anything like that because, like, I know. I just know. Hello there. Okay. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 Run away. Run away. I'm, I'm going to run into one of them. I know I am. Dude. What the fuck is up with these gases? Like, why, why is everyone throwing gas nades or whatever the fuck they're called? Oh my lord. Let's see here. I'm on the opposite side of my team, so that means the enemy's like spawning like right next to me, which is not good. Double kill. There we go. There's another one. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, what the fuck? Oh, was he on the. Oh, he was on the other side. Oh, okay. Hold on. Kobe. I was so confused, bro. I was like, what the hell is going on? Hi. 
Dude, there's bouncing Bettys everywhere. Literally everywhere you could think there's some bouncing Bettys. That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I noticed also in this game? Uh, well, maybe it's because the TDM is 75 and it's not 100. But the matches go by really quick in this game. A lot quicker than Black Ops 4. And I have the feeling that has to do with the maps and the fact that, you know, it's 75 points per kill instead of... Or not 75 points per kill. It's um 75 kills and not 100 kills for a team deathmatch. But, dude, like, what... Dude, what is all of this? I forgot about the Bouncing Bettys. It's, uh, it's a good thing I spot them out now. Dude, like, look at this! Look at this! Enemy bomb incoming! Get to cover! We're being outmaneuvered! Damn it! Dude, I can't. I can't. It's literally everywhere I go. And it's like they all put them in, like, the right places. Like, each teammate knows where to put them. It's, it's weird. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a guy that's running through there. I suck ass though. I'm surprised there was none in that room right there. Oh, there was one. Was there one right in front of me? <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, man, this gun is really good. All the guns that they put in this game are really good so far. I would definitely give them a try once you get them. Hopefully you guys can. I prefer the Witzkavitska uh, over this gun though. I will say that. I prefer the Witzkavitska over this gun because, I don't know, I just, I like the faster fire rate and the other gun has literally no recoil at all, so. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. What weapon would you guys like me to do next? Do you guys want to see the AR or the LMG next? Or do you guys want to see Black Ops 4 weapons? I've kind of recorded some videos for Black Ops 4 already, but let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.